Hello, bees and bees, if you know what I mean. I'm going to talk about commercials and movies. I'm going to be watching movies since it's summertime, and I will be watching the commercials also and give you my input on what I think about them and what is weird to me about them. So, yeah. There's probably going to be like a bunch of parts, but I'm not going to call it parts. I'm going to number them because I roll like that. I'm not going to call it parts. Well, never mind. So I'm going to talk about EVA. EVA, how does a redhead come out of a bald dude and a blonde chick? Seriously, unless she's adopted like the other dude that's her brother. But yeah, I totally get that. She's saving people. But then again, and then like Amanda Bynes, she plays that one stuff that plays it in Jesus Freak that's dating a 22 year old that's failing, has failed being a senior a few times. So yeah, and like now she wanted Drake to murder her blank, but I think you can get that. Like I was asking, I was watching Really Be Really, and they're all like, I like, I think it was Levaka saying, oh yes, Amanda, get that Canadian bacon, and I was like, oh my gosh. We're not doing parodies because I'm uncreative, so I'm not doing any parodies. But I don't have any wigs, so I don't know. Unless I get different hairstyles and like um, put on makeup or something and make videos, but I don't really know. <laughs> no, no, that was weird for me. And like, so yeah, that's what freaked me out about Easy A. And I'm going to talk about Nemo now, Finding Nemo. Finding Dory comes out in class 15. It's when all the seniors, it's when all the juniors that are going, juniors that are going to be, Sophomores that are going to be juniors, they're going to graduate, and they're going to graduate with finding Dory. So, yeah. And, like, in Finding Nemo, I was just thinking to myself, how did two, how many times did they do it? Because look at how many eggs were there. Like, seriously, and one survived. All the eggs are gone. Oh my gosh. And I was like, I watched it right now before I started looking in fire. Before I started watching Fired Up. I'm watching it right now. So, yeah. I was watching Nemo, and I was like, and then the other dude was like, it was either a dude or girl. It's sad that Nemo never got to meet his mom and other siblings that were supposed to be born. But because this one animal was so hungry, it couldn't get some shark or turtle. So, yeah. I don't know. It could have got something else. It, kinda, it could have went vegan and gotten some coral salad. Yeah. Could have gone healthy. You on a diet. Yeah, because Dory's all thinking that. Uh, because they almost died from that one animal in the deep, dark pit of the ocean. You on a diet. I'm going to look that up right now. Ah, my YouTube isn't working. She's like, you on a diet. Okay, I'm done with that part. Now going to commercial.
commercials. The commercials I love to death, and I can't complain about are the Eminem ones and the AT and T ones, where the dudes talking to little kids and they're making up random stuff and like why you should have things faster or slower and all that stuff. And like the Eminem ones are funny, like. What for the Super Bowl? The I'm sixty and I know it one. He's like, oh, so it's that kind of party. And like, he's all, like, all that stuff. And then the AT&T commercials. Okay, I remember this. What's the biggest number you could think of? A hundred. Then. Infinity! Infinity and why? Sorry, we're looking for infinity plus infinity. infinity. What about when infinity times infinity? And then it ends with that. I laughed at that one. Or the turtle one. Where a turtle should be slow so it doesn't get run over as fast. But yeah. And I love the commercials. I always love those. I'm excited every time there's a new one on. I'm like the one where Naya Rivera and the Eminem one, she's trying to eat the red Eminem. But she's like, and I would do anything for love. But I won't do that. Or that. Or this. Or that. And he's saving himself from getting eaten by a pinata. Hey, love is love. Might as well do it. How many times are you going to get love unless you don't throw a butt? But yeah. So yeah. But the ones that are really stupid, like, I've said this in my Yoshi Valley channel for Okay, so I've done this in a Yoshi channel, and like why I hate Taylor Swift 22, the song, commercial, and music video. And like, I was like, why is she still writing it when people are already taking it and drinking a Diet Coke? And my dad's all looking at me, he's like, you can do this, and this is that commercial hunt, and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. And there's another commercial that I think is funny. Like, this dude, they're about thoughts. And like, one of the dudes, he drinks an odd energy drink. And this one dude thinks he's all big and bad, and he's gonna win, and he's the one with the mohawk. And it's all died, and he's like, ah, 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 and everybody's all cheering for him. And the other dude that drinks the not energy drink, they're like, boom, he's gonna get a smackdown. Oh. And like, this one dude, the dude that thinks he's all big and bad, he kicks, he tries to kick him in the head, and it doesn't work out because the dude holds his leg. And looks at it like it's all hairy, and then he goes like, whoosh, and he's knocked out. The dude with the diet mohawk is knocked out. So yeah, that was pretty funny. I'm trying to think of other commercials, but oh well. We have a Tumblr ghetto projections with my face on it, with a stripe, with my stripe beanie, and I'm like. So yeah, uh, we don't have any other. Um, we don't have any other ones. So oh my gosh, I'm not used to this. So yeah, so, yes, I'm following 17 people on Tumblr.
and we also have a kick count. It's marshmallow point zero eight ghetto possessions. So yeah. Bye you guys.